post-traumatic, I almost want to say post-traumatic stress disorder. No. Post, but not this thing dripping. It's fresh. Ooh, mm -mm, baby, you gotta slow down. Why? I love to use uh, this leak is on my hands. Girl, we got product leaking over everything. I can't do it. What up, it's your girl, Minna. In this video, we are going over all kind of product empties. I'm feeling real turnt about it. I'm lotioning my hands because, baby, <laughs> who's trying to have ash on the internet? I don't want the crevices of my fingers to match my nails. Hello? Hi. <laughs> We are doing a product empty video, baby. A whole bunch of goodies. It's been a long time coming. This basket is mad full. Let me grab it. In the meantime, text me, okay? Join the community, because anyone can join, so go ahead and do that. Also, subscribe either now or after, because I know you. You're gonna watch the video to the end. So do it now or do it later. Let me just go pick up this container, okay? And let's get started. Yo, I don't wanna do it. I don't want to do anything. But look at all the items that are empty. <laughs> I did my best to hold on to everything and girl, it's a lot, okay? So, let's go through all of it. I, you would think it would be organized in some sort of fashion, <laughs> but it ain't, you know what I'm saying? So, let's just dive in with what we have right here, okay? And let's talk about all of it. Okay, so you know I love a good candle. I have not held on to every candle that I've used. I've used a ton more. I just was like, am I gonna tell y'all every candle I'm using? Because by golly, Miss Molly, I mean, I'm burning three candles a, a day. Well, during the day. I'm not finishing all three, you understand? But I'm burning a lot of candles in a day. So a lot of them finish and I'm just like, <laughs> am I supposed to keep all this? It's just a lot, you know? So the most recent candles that I finished are here on the top. So let's go over those, okay? Elemis, I didn't know Elemis sold home fragrance. I've used many of their skincare products and love them. I've in fact worked with them in the past on campaigns, so love the brand, right? I didn't know that they had home fragrance. This was sent to me over the holidays. I'm not sure if they have it in stock always or if that was just a gift. I'm gonna look for a link and link everything below, okay, if you have any interest in them but these candles were so good rose arbor and orangery rose arbor is giving rose sweet goodness orangery when i first know this i was a little bit like what in the whole world it's a very you might think it's masculine almost like pine trees sweet but more like pine trees wood burning kind of a thing it's very unique I did burn it because I love a good candle, right? Like I'm gonna burn it. It's It reminds me of that Jackie Ina candle that I did not like at first, the orange chocolate one that I was like, what in the world? It's just not, I would never buy this in the store. But as I was burning it and see, I burned several candles. So it's all mixing in the house and I was enjoying it. But by itself, let's say I just had this on, I'd be like, what is that? What is going on? So the scent was just very unique in that sense. I don't know what to say about it, but I did, I did burn it down and it, it won't burn anymore. So I did enjoy these two, okay? All right, two candles on top here are from Target. And even the, the candle burner right here is Target too, okay, baby? So we have Sand and Fog. I got this for Christmas. So how many days ago was that? Was that two weeks ago? And this is done. I burned it every single day. My husband helped me get it for me for Christmas. I have two of these. So I had to burn it right away to show him how happy I was because he knows how much mama loves fragrance of all kinds. So just the idea that he got me candles, just the sweetest thing. I just love all of the sentimental, really easy, affordable gifts. Not everything has to be a Louis Vuitton this and a Hermes this and a Gucci this. I just love the heartfelt gifts. So this one meant so much to me. It's red and red does not even fit my aesthetic, but I just love that it was from my baby. Like I said, I have another one of these and I'm gonna burn it. Actually, you know, I'll start burning it today. Uh, the scent is very subtle. So at first I was like, well, dang, am I gonna smell this? But because I burn a few at a time, I had this one on the kitchen table and I was smelling it. It's not strong like a Forever Mood or like a Nest or a Voluspa or even a Bath and Body. It's a gentle, 
candle. Like it's just, it's a soft scent, okay? It's made with essential oils. This scent is teak wood. I read on the packaging that it came with that this is actually a woman owned brand. So that's pretty nice, huh? Love that and it's so sentimental to me. This is also from Target. I love me some masculine musk type scents. This one is called a collection by Chesapeake Bay Candle. It's sweet tobacco and it's a soy wax blend candle. All right, sweet tobacco, okay. I'm into the musks. I love Fenty Beauties, or Fenty, yeah, Fenty Eau de Parfum. I love Jo Malone, Velvet, Rose, and Oud. I just love musk scents, so this if you are into musk scents, I think you'll enjoy this. I love Jazz Club Replica fragrance, amazing. It's very unique, it's not for everybody, but it's for me, you feel what I'm saying? It's for a time and a place, you get what I'm saying? This one is musk, you feel me? So if you enjoy musk, I think you will enjoy this. What's nice, because I burn more than one candle at one time, I can be doing a nice musk, let's say in the bedroom, and be doing something sweet in the in the living room, and you know, I just can I can just mix it and do whatever the heck I wanna do, you feel what I'm saying? I'ma do what I wanna do. Oh, Oh, we have another small candle. It's a baby one, baby. I know I have more than one of these in here. I just don't know where it is, honey. But it is the Forever Mood Gingerbread Trap House. Now, I got this during the Sephora sale. It was on the, what do you call it, the end cap? I saw it and I was like, wait, $15? Let me get this and go try it out, honey. I like this so much. Jackie Ina's candles are packed with fragrance. This is small but mighty, all right? I enjoyed this. I had this in the bathroom. Absolutely phenomenal. I would burn it a few minutes at a time because I was just, you know, in the bathroom. I'm just showering, brushing my teeth, and I want to smell something lovely. I would put this on. So this took a long time. I was not burning her all day because she's a little mini little thing. She's just a little kitty. She's like a little baby, you know? Just fantastic. And I thought that this was only for the holidays. Well, I found the big version of it. It's in a white packaging. It's not burgundy, but it's the same scent. Gingerbread Trap House. Either way, I'm gonna link this below because it smells so good. You know, I've been hooked on Forever Mood candles. You know what I'm saying? I got almost all of them and I can't lie, I still have candles from last spring. I believe it was around Valentine's Day, the purple and pink ones. I got the four pack, I burned one of them. It was phenomenal and I've been hoarding or, you know, saving the other three because they just, first of all, are beautiful. Second of all, smell fantastic. Third of all, they're just so beautiful. Fourth of all, smell so fantastic. I just wanna get rid of them, you know? I wanna, I wanna slow down. I don't wanna go too fast. Now let's do some skincare, baby. Oh my gosh. Skin and body and hair, like all the things. Okay, right in front of me. This is new. This is from, it's new but it's finished. Isn't that crazy? This is from Sephora when I when they had the fall holiday savings event. I bought this. You saw the video. You're familiar with this. This is the Skin Fix Barrier Plus Lipid Boost Body Cream. I enjoyed this. I was mixing in the Paula, I'm gonna link that below too. The Paula's Choice Vitamin. Vitamin C booster or something. I was putting that inside this, both from the holiday savings event. Enjoyed this. Honey, my husband been using this stuff too. I gotta tell him like, babe, this is mad expensive. Chill out. But he wanna get on it with me. I be like, ugh. Stop. Like, don't do that. You try to use all my stuff. And he be like, you're gonna get some more. And I be like, but that's not the point. That's not the point. This is for women, not for men. <laughs> it's not, but you know, whatever. So yeah, I enjoyed this. This is, this has healthy fats, ceramides, cholesterol it, that feeds and nourishes thirsty skin. You know, your girl got dry skin. I have eczema, you know? It's not terrible on my body, but it's annoying enough on my neck and chest. Do you feel what I'm saying? This was really good. I enjoyed it. Another body care item is this necessary. The body wash, baby. So I've used eucalyptus, and this is sandalwood. Smells so good, very gentle on the skin. Clean product. If that floats your boat and finds your lost remote, you wanna give Necessaire a try at Sephora. Oh, we have another baby milk bottle. It's a baby candle, Forever Moon. This is caked up. Caked up smells so good. I do have the big version of it. Is there heliotrope in this? I don't know. Ah, oh, just absolutely phenomenal. These little ones are amazing. If you wanna try them out, buy that four pack gift set or just go for the whole splurge because if you love what I love, you are going to love all of these. They're just that good. Oh my goodness. Okay, Pixie Glycolic Body Wash. Now, this is an exfoliating body cleanser. So I wasn't using this 
often. A product like this, a product that exfoliates your body is best used at night. It causes photosensitivity. It will cause your skin to be more susceptible to burning, to just anything that results from sun exposure. So you wanna use this at night so that your skin can heal, you know, overnight before you go outside the next day. This ain't the kind of thing you wanna use on a beach vacation because you won't be in the sun the whole time. You see what I'm saying? So this, it took me a while to get through. I've had this for some time and I do like it. It does make your skin feel dry. Why? Because it's an exfoliating body cleanser. It's going to be helping to get off that dead skin, baby. But this kind of a product is really good. For instance, Olay has a retinol body wash. Same idea, melting off the dead skin so then you have that smooth, supple skin underneath that is now on top. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> Hi. So this was good, enjoyed that. Also from Pixie is their Glow Tonic. So they sent this last year and actually sent another one this year. This is the 5% glycolic acid toner. So this is the same thing as this. This is a body wash, this is for the face. You feel what I'm saying? Glycolic acid is an AHA, so it can be used on a daily basis depending on your skin type. I was not, like I said, using this every single day and I wasn't even using this every single day. I have a lot of skincare products and I have rosacea, so I have to be careful what exfoliators I'm using and when because you know my prescription is a prescription of clindamycin, tretinoin, which is retinol, and niacinamide. And I use that every other day. So it's only the opposite every other day where I have time to put on any of these other exfoliating products. So I gotta go easy. This is good though. Just in general, I know that, I don't think you can buy this big one in the store, smaller version, but go ahead and pump some on a cotton pad, wipe it on your face, avoiding your eyes and the mouth, and just do it every day or every other day, twice a week to start off if you need to, if your skin is sensitive, and you'll see your skin becoming more and more smooth. Listen right now, before I began doing skincare, I used to only do makeup. Like I did not care for my skin underneath it, okay? When I began doing skincare, my skin has never been softer. Maybe when I was three years old, but of course I don't recall my skin at that time, but my skin has never, ever, ever been softer than how it has been with me doing skincare. Even though I have rosacea, girl, please. My skin is mad soft. If you see me in person, baby, you be like, wow, what do you do? Well, I do a lot of skincare, that's what I do. Okay. I love this Fresh Beauty Black Tea Age Delay Body Cream. It is so rich. And when it's on the skin, it feels like it leaves an oil behind, like the Fenty Beauty Whipped Body Butter. Is the name of it? Fenty Beauty Body Butter. You know when it goes on, it feels like there's an oil on the skin in a good way. I get the same finish, if you will, from this product. Really, really enjoyed it. Like I was trying to squeeze out the best I could out the bottom of this. I really enjoyed this, linking this and everything else below, okay? I just literally finished this one. This is the Bosha Makeup Breakup Cool Cleansing Oil. I had a problem with this pump, okay? So when I was using it, I had the pump off and I would pour it into my hand. It was really good though. I didn't feel any cooling sensation from it, but yeah, this is fresh. So the way you use a cleansing oil is that you rub it onto your dry hands, onto your face that has makeup on it, or no makeup because you're wearing SPF every single day, right? So you want to make sure you use a cleansing oil even on your skin because you have SPF on. Hello. So rub this onto your hands, onto your face. It's going to mix everything together. It's going to feel so strange, but just do it anyway because you need to do it, girl. Do it, okay? So put water on your hands. You're going to see that the cleansing oil or the balm, this is an oil, is going to turn milky. I think it's pretty cool. Science. And then you rub it and it's going to melt everything off. It's not going to be completely off because what do you do next? a cleanser, okay? That's why your cleanser does not have to be a, an extreme stripping cleanser like I thought I needed back in the day because I was not doing skincare. So if I had on makeup or just whatever and I used a gentle cleanser, I would feel like the cleanser doesn't work. The cleansers work, okay? Gentle cleansers like this Elemis Superfood Facial Wash is a gel cleanser. It's a gentle cleanser. This is not supposed to break down full coverage foundation and 
powder and highlight, hello. That's why you have to start off with your cleansing oil or your cleansing balm. Then you go in and rinse it, like I said, and then you use a gentle cleanser. Your skin's gonna feel clean and not stripped. That's the whole point there. Don't be just trying to be using all these harsh cleansers, baby. Go gentle, hi. Okay, this is another cleansing product. This is the Pharmacy Green Clean Makeup Melt Away Cleansing Balm. If you've been here for a while, I've used so many of these. There was one last year that was colorful. It was orange and green and yellow. The actual balm was. It was fun to use. This is the original one, I guess, same idea. It's just a balm, so it's, it's like coconut oil where you have it where it's melted or when it's solid, same idea, okay? This one was solid. You take some, rub it, it turns to an oil. You rub it onto the skin, same old deal. You just heard me explain all of that, okay? This was the Glow Recipe Papaya Sorbet Enzyme Cleansing Balm. I love Glow Recipe's branding. It's fun, it's colorful, it's enjoyable. It just makes things fun to use. I have another Glow Recipe product. This is the Plum Plump Hyaluronic Serum. I've used maybe five of these per year in the past two years. I mean, this is tried and true for me. If you've been here for a while, you know that already. Extreme hydration, so, so good. Just so, so good. And I like to layer this. I like to layer it. It is just so good. Especially when I'm coming off the heels of a rosacea breakout. This is so good, so gentle, just so great. We all need the hydration in our skin. Dry skin cracks, hello. Just like dry hair breaks, hello. Need the hydration. This cleansing balm is really good. Same idea, right? It's a balm, so rub it melt it, rinse it, whip it, you know, flip it. So with face products, here we have the First A Beauty Ultra Repair Hydrating Serum, honey. Very, very hydrating serum, unscented, just feels good on the skin. Same idea as this one. I've gone through several of these as well. They both have pumps, by the way, FYI. And I have a code, so midnight 15 on firstabeauty.com to save some money. This is just really, really good. I love to use a serum after my cleanser and before moisturizer of course. So either of those or any other serum that you might have on you are perfect. Try to do your vitamin C antioxidant serum in the morning and then another perhaps niacinamide or hyaluronic acid or any kind of hydrating serum in the, in the nighttime. But of course you can still use niacinamide serum in the morning. I like to do a lot of different things. If you watch my morning skincare routine, you know what I mean. If you haven't, you need to watch it. End of story. Hi. Oh, and speaking of vitamin C serum, here's the one from Youth to the people. You saw me do a partnership with them last year on IG if you were paying attention. If not, I did and this was one of the products that I used and this is a vitamin C. You want to use vitamin C in the morning time because this coupled with your SPF work really really well to fight against dark spots to help protect your skin from the UV rays even if it's not sunny outside, even if you are staying inside all day. Unless you're gonna keep your windows and your blinds closed all day, put on your SPF baby girl. Okay, put it on. Don't play games. Oh, and put on your vitamin C, okay? Another first A Beauty product, again, use my code to save some money, is the Facial Radiance Niacinamide Dark Spot Serum. I also worked on a campaign with this serum and I've used maybe seven of these <laughs> in one year. I enjoy this. Here's the thing, if you have dark spots, it is post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. So after you have an acne breakout or a scar or a scratch, let's say you cut yourself, you fall on your knees and you get a scratch on your knee, honey child. When when that, I almost want to say boo-boo. All the moms understand. We use like boo-boo and potty. <laughs> when the boo-boo heals, you're going to get a dark spot. Now, I have tested this out with a pimple and I didn't pinch it and pull it and poke it. I just used what, the BHA and those pimple creams and I just left it, right? And I did not get the dark spot. So that's one tip right there actually. Leave those bumps alone and hopefully, if your skin is like mine, you won't get a dark spot. But mm -hmm, that doesn't always happen, okay? I'm always like, oh, that thing is bothering me. So the dark spot is what is the last stage of that pimple when it's gone, that whatever it is. You wanna make sure you're using niacinamide to help brighten up the dark spots. It's gonna be a slow game. Give it some time. This is a slow game. You need to go on the journey. It's not a sprint, but the same for vitamin C and SPF. You wanna use all of these things to combat texture on the skin, to combat dark spots. 
spots to combat wrinkles, fine lines, all of the above, okay? Great product, have definitely loved this. Oh, I have another cleansing balm. Clearly, like I said, cleansing balm every single day. You best believe I gotta go through a lot of these because it's important, okay? So this is another pharmacy, clearly clean, makeup melting cleansing balm. So I went through two of these. <laughs> Hi! Oh my gosh, so another serum, The Ordinary Hyaluronic Acid. Hyaluronic acid is a great acid to use on the skin. Don't be confused or misled that the word acid means it's gonna burn you. Not at all, this is for hydration. In fact, our bodies have hyaluronic acid in it. Hello, it's in the joints. Think about it, Google it. Go find out for yourself. This is really good. Now this is different from the Glow Recipe one. This one, once it dries down, it's a little bit tacky. It puts a film on the face. And at first I was disturbed by it. I was like, what is this? Because I tried to do another layer of this. And if you rub too much, you're going to disrupt that film. But I actually enjoy this every day or even when I have a breakout because I feel like I need to put a barrier on my skin because my skin feels raw and tender. So this does have a good purpose, but don't be mistaken. You cannot layer this. At least I have not been able to. And you can't disrupt it too much either. Be careful with the moisturizer you put on top of this because depending on what it is, it might disrupt this. And then you get that pilling. Pillings when you see all of the product crumble and it just looks like, you know, glue on your face that's crumbling up and you're like, what? If you've ever experienced that pilling, comment below and let me know. I've experienced it because I try so many things. So certain formulas just don't go together. This one's gonna give you that problem. You gotta be very careful, but I do enjoy it, okay? And it's very affordable. The other one, never had that issue, okay? And that one's gonna cost you more, you heard? Another fun product, it was this Capri Beauty Elixir 3. Now I've had this for some time. That's a problem. This is very pricey. So I was taking my time to go through this. I was like, hold on, let's go slow, baby. This is a facial oil. You wanna put your oil on as the last step in your routine. I've learned the hard way with oil. Obviously put it on your fingers. I don't like to put any product on my palms. Keep it on the fingers, you know, and apply it. But with oil, like I said, the hard way I've learned, you don't need to be rubbing that in. I don't feel like I need to rub everything in. Even with your SPF, if you put one on and you feel like, whoa, I put a lot, which you should and it's looking white give it a minute or so it'll absorb and just you know pat it in and just leave it alone so when it comes to this get it on your fingers and pat into your face and then leave it alone this is nighttime now not the morning time I don't know about putting no oil on top of your SPF you don't want to disturb that okay this is good for the nighttime baby go and get you some facial oil either this one or just any other one to seal things in hydration is your friend baby you want to have smooth Supple skin till the end of time. Now we're moving on to hair and body. All right, so let's do hair. Dove Amplified Textures Leave-In Conditioner. This was in my Dollar General Days of Beauty box. Who remembers that, okay? I collabed with Dollar General last year and then they gave away beauty boxes. Maybe you won one, let me know in the comments. I had one, it was full of goodies. And this is one that was in there. I enjoyed this, okay? So that Dollar Genevo, hello. Really, really good. Just really, really good. Obviously I'm natural, I co-wash a lot and I shampoo on occasion. So I go through a lot of condition around here. Even for the knees here, I condition his hair all the time. Every shower, just about. And then I shampoo when he gets a haircut to get the hair off. Yeah, I don't, yeah, literally, actually, yeah. I don't I don't shampoo his hair, no need. Yeah, that's what I do, okay? No need. So love, love, loved that. Ooh, this Briogeo Scalp Revival Charcoal and Coconut Oil Micro Exfoliating Shampoo. My God, today these names. Very descriptive SEO. Yo, this was so good. So it's gray, and if you saw my Sephora partnership video here on YouTube or even my IG stories, then you would have seen me discuss this. This is so good. I was so confused because I was like, wait, this is looks almost like a lotion, not a lotion, but it just was unsuspecting. I haven't ever seen a shampoo in a container like this because to me, shampoo is something to be squeezed or pumped, right? So I was like, wait, I scoop this? Okay, fine. But once you get it water on it, it gets so sudsy and you don't eat a lot, but I like to use a lot of product. So this gets mad sudsy, yo. And then it really does wash the hair real good, baby. Does not make it feel stripped at 
all. Yo, I'm just leaning on this thing, like, hi. But this, maybe, I use this like five times, maybe. This is so good, though. I just love the whole formulation of it. I was like, wait, hold on. This is bomb. Like, it was just a fun experience, too. And it smells so good. So, here we have this conditioner from Shea Moisture. I love this so much. Now, you may have seen already that I did a collab with them last year. I also have the shampoo and the conditioner. This is the protein power treatment. So, so good. The fragrance is out of this world. Listen, you know for me, fragrance is a big deal. When it comes to my body, my hair, my mouth, <laughs> like, hello? My house, everything need is not good, baby. So, when it comes to the hair, yes, the fragrance is there. This is so rich. And on my hair, I like to use a lot of product. In fact, I need to use a lot of product. So, I mean, I was taking heaping globs of this. So, it doesn't last me very long. <laughs> But that's a good thing. This stuff is good, baby. This is a perfect product to put on and leave overnight or two if you don't have anywhere to go. Girl, when you rinse this out, girl, it's a whole different story. Your hair's a whole different type of hair, baby. It's so different. It's amazing. Another hair product is this Cantu Shea Butter Leave-In Conditioning Repair Cream. So I use this after my co-washes or washes, whatever. I use this after washes. I've used this for years. I've gone through several tubs of this. It's always Always been a tried and true, very affordable product that I like to use on my natural hair. Keeps the curls juicy. It does provide intense moisture, and it's just a need. If you if you're natural, comment. Let me know. I was relaxed probably like since I was born, but I've been natural for what five years now. I love to use this. This is so funny. I was using this before I got pregnant and then, you know, some some of us have that issue where you can't stand certain scents. I could not stand the scent of this. But then after I was like, okay, good, we're back. We're back. And another hair product. Listen, Adwa Beauty, Ganyan owns. Hello. <laughs> Hi, Adwa Beauty is, this is the Blue TNZ Reparative Mask. This was also part of the Sephora campaign that I did here on YouTube and IGL. This is really, really good too. Heaping globs on the hair, great for overnight or two or three, or just to rinse off. So, so good, smells so good. I'm still enjoying their leave-in treatments and all their other stuff. They have just not been finished yet, but that felt sheezy, cause you know I wash my hair at least once a week, so <laughs> yeah. And here's a body product, Sol de Janeiro, Brazilian Foreplay Moisturizing Shower Cream Gel, baby, baby. Uh. Now, this I love because the scent is mad good. You know for a minute your girl been into the Sol de Janeiro fragrances. Whether it's a body and hair mist or it's this, I even have their chapstick or what do they call it, lip balm. I call everything chapstick, that's so bad. Their lip balm, baby, all of the things, okay? Now, this is not gonna get, it hasn't, it doesn't give me ultimate hydration, but it gives me ultimate fragrance. So I love this for vacations, or obviously I use it at home, but I love this because it smells so good. But for ultimate hydration, of course, I like to use either the Dove body wash or a baby, come on with the transitions or whatever. I love to use the Olay rinse off body conditioner. Ow, this, I've gone through several of these. I use it for Nini's nice skin. We enjoy it. The fragrance is off the chisain. So go ahead and grab one of these if you don't already, because baby, in this winter weather, or even in the summertime, I can see myself using that on like wicked hot days and then not putting on lotion, but I'm lying. I'm gonna put on lotion. At least on the hands, the feet, the knees, the elbows. We gonna get lotion, baby. But this is gonna keep you hydrated. Okay, so two final things. Girl, the toothpaste is looking real wicked right now. Cause you gotta squeeze and get everything. Colgate Optic White. Let me put this down cause it looks nasty. So, so good. It works. Now, you know I whiten my teeth. I don't do it often because I am pretty white right now. I do touch ups every now and again. For instance, before I went to Cabo, I touched up. But when I first started whitening, I whitened a lot. Catch my whitening video here on YouTube. I'll explain all of it there. But that product is so good for the in-between time because it actually does work. I saw results, baby. It does work. In fact, I ordered some more because it's that good, okay? Now, I've had this fragrance for a minute, okay? If you follow me on IG, which if you're not, you need to be, hello. It is the Nest Fragrances Black Tulip Fragrance. I already finished Wild Poppy, which I enjoyed. This is Black Tulip. Mm, can barely smell it. There ain't nothing in here. I love Nest Fragrances. This I do recommend. I believe this was a musk. Girl, you just need it, okay? I'm linking that 
that and everything that I mentioned down below, baby. So those are my empties right now. Comment and let me know if you have any of these, love any of these, want to try any of these, or have recommendations of things that I should try so I can tell you what I think about it, okay? I'm glad you watched the video to the end because, ew, I love to see it. I'ma see you in the next video. In the meantime, make sure you subscribe and text me and yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.